Hello everyone. Welcome to Learnaholic India. Today we are going to see what is Hibernate. Hibernate framework and we are going to see about ORM tool. So today's agenda is like this. Introduction to Hibernate, ORM tool, what is JPA, advantages of Hibernate framework and what is Hibernate architecture. So let's begin with the introduction of Hibernate. Basically what is Hibernate and when the Hibernate was started. So Hibernate was started in 2001 by Kevin Kings as an alternative to EJB2 style entity B. Hibernate uh, in Java is nothing but a Hibernate is a Java framework that simplifies the development of Java application to interact with the database. It is an open source lightweight ORM that is object relational mapping tool. Hibernate implements the specification of JPA. JPA is Java Persistent Persistence API for data persistence. It is object relational mapping tool. That is ORM tool. An ORM tool is a tool that simplifies the data creation, data manipulation, and data access. With the help of ORM tool, data creation, manipulation, and access gets easier. ORM tool is a programming technique that maps the object to the data stored in the database. The ORM tool internally uses the JDBC application that is JDBC API to internet to interact with the database. The figure shows how the Java application and database is connected via object with the help of object relational mapping tool. Let's see what is Java Persistence application. Java Persistence application that is Java API is a Java specification that provides a certain functionality and standard to ORM tools. The javax.persistence package contains the JPA classes and interfaces. The Java ORM standard for storing, accessing and managing Java object in a relational database. The Java Persistence API is concerned with the persistence, which loosely means any mechanism by which Java object outlive the application process that created them. In other words, the JPA specification lets you to define which object should be persisted and how those objects should be persisted in your Java application. JPA is not a tool or framework. Rather, it defines a set of concepts that can be implemented by any tool or framework. JPS called Object Relational Mapping, that is ORM model, was originally based on the Hibernate. JPA was originally intended for use with the relational or SQL databases. Now let's see what is Java ORM. Object Relational Mapping is a task that is one that can develop have good reason to avoid doing it manually. Means anyone wants to avoid manipulation. Um, in simple words, it helps to do the task in a simple manner. It is a framework like Hibernate ORM or Eclipse Link codifies that task into library or framework that is an ORM layer. The ORM layer is responsible for managing the conversion of software object to interact with the tables and columns in a relational database. In Java, the ORM layer converts the data classes and objects so that they can be stored and managed in a relational database. What are the advantages of Hibernate? There are various advantages of Hibernate. Let's see one by one. Hibernate is an open source and lightweight framework. It helps database independent query. The performance is very fast. Hibernate helps for automation table creation. It also provides query statistics and database status. Hibernate also helps you to simplify the complex joins. Let's see the architecture of Hibernate. The Hibernate architecture includes many objects such as persistence objects, session factory, transaction factory, connection factory, session, transaction, etc. Hibernate has four layers. First, Java application layer, second Hibernate framework layer, third backend API layer, and fourth database layer. How the architecture is defined is specified in this figure. In this figure, let's see, the application is in the top layer. 
After that, the persistence object is placed. In between the application and database, there is a Hibernet. Hibernet contains the mapping file and configuration file. And about the Hibernet, the persistence object relay. How internally the Hibernet framework work? Means uh, in this figure, the various core objects of Hibernet are described. The Java application and database in between these two layers, the Hibernet is placed in the below the transaction layer is there after that session layer is there and after that session factory is there session factory and connection provide are in the hibernet framework and the internet api used by hibernet are jndi jdbc and jta now let's see the elements of hibernet one by one first there is a session factory Session factory is a factory of session and client of connection provider. It holds a second level cache that is an optional memory for the data. The org.hibernet.session factory interface provides the factory method to get the object of the session. The second element is session. The session object provides an interface between the application of data stored in the database. It is a short lived object and wraps the JDBC connection. It is factory of transaction, query and criteria. It holds a first level cache that is a mandatory memory of the data. The hibernate, the org.hibernate.session interface provides method to insert, update and delete the object. It also provides the factory methods for transaction, query and criteria. The next element is transaction. The transaction object specifies the atomic unit of work. It is optional. The dot the org dot hibernet dot transaction interface provides method for transaction management. Next element is connection provider. The connection provider element is a factory of JDBC connection. This element abstracts the application from driver manager or data source. It is the optional element. The next element is transaction factory. This element is a factory of transaction. It is also an optional element in the hibernate. Now let's see the steps which are important for creating the example of hibernate without using ID. The steps are first you have to create a persistence class. After that create a mapping file for persistence class. Then you have to create the configuration file. After creation of configuration file, you have to create the class that retrieves or stores the persistence object. After that, load the jar file, then run the application that is run the first hibernate application by using the command prompt. The detailed example will be explained in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching today's session. If you are the new user, or you, are used, or you are seeing this channel first time then subscribe to Learnaholic India and don't forget to click on the bell icon for latest video update. If you like today's video then like it share it with your friends. Also if you have any query then please comment below. Remember one thing sharing of knowledge is gaining of knowledge. That's it for today. Stay tuned for next video. Goodbye and thank you once again.